everyone, how are we doing? Welcome to the 2017-2018 academic school year. I'm really excited to have you guys back. I'm excited to have all of you here. Um, the reason that I do this job is because of bright lights like you. For me, the CCSR is an organization that is designed to make the world a better place. It's comprised of students, faculty, staff, all working together to help other people to provide a, an opportunity to get involved and make a difference. And um, the collaboration for me is, a, is really a, a key component because it's so exciting to see a community come together to try to make the world a better place. The schools today, uh, a lot of schools, I mean, we focus on content and testing and intellectual learning. Uh, we don't focus enough on, on social emotional learning. And after all, the most important characteristic of a person in a lot of ways is the quality of their character. And we do not do enough of that in schools. So this program doesn't interfere with the curriculum, doesn't interfere with academic learning. It's a supplement which allows the district to provide a positive learning experience, not only to the students, but also to the community. I literally go up to students and say, hey, we have this group called the CCSR. I noticed you're really passionate about this. Would you be interested in maybe developing a project around your passion? The first year we started with, I want to say around 18 students. Um, and now, right now in our group, we have 86 students. I can't believe we have 86 students. And we currently have 34 projects which is incredible. Today we had our first Black Female Empowerment Workshop and the goal of it was to uh, find like three speakers that can empower and give advice to the young black women at Medford High School because we feel that there aren't um, that many opportunities for black girls here to um, find that encouragement and motivation. Listening Map is a map for Medford High that's designed to make navigating this school easier so that people can access it on their phones and through computers um, so teachers during a like parent-teacher night especially they'll be able to just walk through the halls and navigate on their own. So the name of our project is um, Free the Pad and one of the things that we think is important in our school is to um, have menstrual products more accessible to students during the school day. So we put um, a box of pads in most of the bathrooms in our school and they say like free the pad on them and when you go to the bathroom you're able to take a pad and use it if you need it instead of going to ask the nurse. We noticed in Victory Park that there's a lot of dog feces and we decided that we wanted to do something about it because there's a lot of sports teams that come down there. Well, they don't come down there. That's the reason why. So we decided to do biodegradable bags, put dog bag dispensers on the fence. So once a month we come here to the senior center and we help them um, learn how to use their laptops or iPads, um, like their phones, and we show them how to do anything from like, um, you know, accessing the internet or how to save a phone number. The feeling of giving back is just really good. It's like nothing else can like feels like that. About two years ago the Medford Hope Chest was created by an Interact Club. They started the project as a small group of supplies for the Medford High School students and since then it's grown into a big closet full of everything you can think of. Clothes for all seasons, bags, shoes, school supplies, anything to help students in need get what they need to achieve academic and life goals. We kind of decided to do this because like when we were in elementary school we kind of we still really do love science and we kind of noticed that there weren't many um, opportunities for us to kind of like explore you know experiments and fun ideas sort of that so like we kind of wanted to bring that over here and we know like the Medford Boys and Girls Club it's a very diverse bunch of kids so we really like um, that we're able to share our like you know our passion for science with them. Basically what it is is a simulation of lower, middle, and upper class and how they eat. You'll be pulling out of a lottery what class and depending on the class you are that's the food that you'll be eating. So if you're in the lower class you're going to eat more basic food like rice, beans, boiled chicken. Compared to when you're in the upper class you'll be eating steak. It's basically to show the struggles that lower and middle class people go through. The amount of people in Medford that are in need of food is just astonishing. 
Around the time I was deciding on my project, Hurricane Harvey hit and devastated Houston, and the profound loss and destruction made me feel the need to help in some way. So I spent a few weeks collecting clothes, non-perishable food items, school supplies, and household goods, but had no way of getting these donations to Houston without an enormous expense. All of the relief items sat at Medford High for a month, until my dad and I finally just decided to rent a U-Haul truck and drive everything to Houston ourselves. This was an amazing trip where I met some wonderful people in a very hard hit area, and unloading the truck with them was one of the best experiences, and I got to do this all because of CCSR. In order to affect change, you have to get the youth involved. The youth are the answer to fixing the problems that we have in our society right now. CCSR is like a great initiative to help the community by, you know, having us like young high school kids kind of like go back to your community and help like the kids who are like the future. And it's really just about creating projects that you really think would benefit your community and just being better citizens overall. Students are given the opportunity to go out and create projects that address problems that they themselves view as an issue in society or around our community. Mr. Squirker is very good at getting people involved in things that he thinks are important. He's a great guy all around and he just kind of makes you want to be like that too. When you ask me, what do I get out of this? The, the fact that I am working with 86 amazing young people who are in it just like I am to make this world better. There is no better feeling than that.